here. What's going on, world? Listen, man. Um, this is my little update. See, there's a little bit of money sitting in in the uh, buying power brokerage right there. Matter of fact, seven dollars fourteen cents. Let me see. I wouldn't be able to get much with these dollar stuff. However, you know, let's say I spent seven bucks here. So let's see. Let's check some small prices. We don't want the non-tradables. We just want the tradables. Can we sort these? No, we can't. I'm not sure if we can. So, seven dollars fourteen cents. Obviously, you don't want to spend it on tether. Let's see all these. Show me all these. Show me the price. BTC up there. All right. Well, let's just go to the worst. Not worst, but you know, she be you know. Matter of fact, I might drop the seven bucks on it. Why not? So just based off the fraction, let's just see what seven would get us. Let's not, let's do a buying USD. So I, I just want, I don't even think I'll go through with this, but it'll get me 316,000 sheep for seven bucks. It's not bad, but I just don't, uh, I don't want that. But anyway, I'll, I'll let it sit there. So. A lot of my dividends came in. I kind of just want to update on that. It's just a, a short little thing right here. There goes my brokerages from uh, Monday. I'm not sure when I'm going to put this out. Let's see. So remember, I sold those um, shares of SPY. Let's feed the dividend. Why not? So we're holding 4.4. Dollar 59 per share. That's where the $7.14 came from. Now, it's the end of April. So the payment for you know my one four seven ten, which is my January, April, July, October, um, situation is Altria. Now I want to look at this again because, like I said, I'm just really proud of myself for this because the last time I got the payment was in January. I want to say it's my first. Well, I don't know if this is true. Is it my first hundred dollar yield? I think for the viewership it is, because, for example, all right, let's just. Let me look at this for a second. We're still up 100. Not bad. Um, I want to go to the dividends of January. That's my sell order. Here's my dividend. So at this point, I didn't have um 100 shares, but at the time I had 86, and eventually, in the span of you know how many months is this? Three months, obviously. Went from 80. What did I say? 85, 86. To where the hell did it go? That's weird. To 111. And the difference here is like, let's just say 85. Let's just say 86, why not? You know what I'm saying? 111 minus 86 shares, 25 shares. So within the span of three months, I got 25 shares at an average cost of 42.88 times $42.88. So in a span of three months, I pretty much, you know, was able to um, spend another thousand. Is that, I don't know if I'm doing the math right, but, you know, knowing me, I probably did some sales of other stocks and then reconsolidated into, you know, Altria MO. So that's the power of like having this portfolio here is that, you know, things like SPY can be sold. So me selling SPY, selling the two thousand, you know, um, dollars worth. Let's just check that real fast. Um, where were we? Here we go. Scroll down to our history. Oops. Here we go. So the limit sell, because I made the um order regulatory fee of two cents. It ain't shit. But um. 2300 and then you know i put that into obviously the shares of chipotle actually damn chipotle shot up is that why i'm up on the market right now that's crazy okay i'll take it i had no idea matter of fact let me check how we do it on the week because i bought in okay so i don't even know what day that was i bought in let's check the history this is why the history is here, because the history gives us the facts. So 
2300 was bought on April 2nd, and then by the 3rd, 608 bucks. The extra 608 bucks was to offset and give me my just 1.0 share. I'm at 1.004, but you get what I was going for, just the one share. Um, that 608 came from a combination of selling Hasbro and uh, some other shit. I forget exactly. There we are. That's your boy. Um, let's just do sales, right? I guess it'd be under orders. Recurring buys. Yeah, these are my DCAs. So yeah, there goes my DCAs. So yeah, uh, Walmart was sold because I realized I was buying it because I thought there would be a um stock split, but I, I you know I. When I was buying in, it was like way after the stock split or like weeks weeks and months after. So I was like, damn, I was just buying this for no reason. But it's still a good stock to own, actually. Realistically, Walmart is actually really good. So 193 came from Walmart. And 64 came from Hasbro. I feel like the rest, so like 600 was spent on Chipotle and then the rest was probably on NVIDIA to get half. And then Google, as we can see right here, VNQ was bought. This is not in my brokerage, so that's probably in my... Uh, IRA, knowing me. Matter of fact, I would love to check this because my match is at a dollar twenty, which means what is it? What is it? So it'd be like one hundred twenty or something. Is that am I doing the math right? Or no, I forget. Because they they match me and they give me extra buying power for the match. Um, yeah, sixteen twenty. That means that all time we are up eighty eight bucks here. I mean, it's just. A lot of this is just like, you know, I got sort of lucky because investing into these Bitcoin ETFs around the time they were around 30 to 40 bucks. And then they shot up to like 55, 59, as you can see right now. Um, but I'm sticking to my guns. Actually, let me go down here to my these are my IRAs right here. So these recur every other week. They're biweekly. Um, and that's like 60. But the other thing that so this is May 6th, right? The other thing that happens on May 6th for me is, you know, I stick to my CVS and my uh, waste management, but they, I lower the cost for it. And then the rest that I spend it on is NVIDIA and Google. Now, with Google, I'm trying to get to one share, like I've said before. I just need one share. You know, we're up eight bucks. Man, you know, it's crazy. Hold on. This shit was up because they announced a, a dividend yield. Let's see if they sh showed it here. It's not here yet because... It hasn't been a month or quarter. They might do like a bi year, uh, hmm, bi annual, I guess you would say. But if it's quarterly, that'll be nice. I just wonder what the yield would be. It's like a certain amount. Actually, it's probably in the news. Let's find the news. It's somewhere over here. I, I forget. But let's say bull say, blah, 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 blah. okay, we don't really care. But they they've announced that they're gonna start giving out dividend yields. So around the time of the announcement, this is like this week, I believe. Or within a week, I should say, on the 25th, so that would have been, today is the 30th, so five days ago. I, I can't do the math right now. I, I don't got time for that. But, you know, it shot up to like 179, 180-ish. So, but, you know, let me, let me go to uh, my weekly, my bi-weekly, sorry. So for May 6th, which is right after Cinco de Mayo, it's going to be nice to get $25 in there. Cause, and it's, it's nice for me because, you know, again, you spend 25 on this. That's like point, what's a sixth of that? And you know, let me do the math for five. So uh, three, you know, point five and then blah, 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 point three. So it's like uh, 17 ish, 17, 34. Yeah, point 17 shares. So point 17 added to this. I'll probably get to one share by May 6th. You know, assuming that by market open on Monday, it's around one, you know, anywhere between my average cost is 153. So between 153, actually, one, anything between 150 and 170 is perfect for me to get to that 0.17 because I only need 0.15. Sorry, uh, 0 0.15, you know, specifically. Um, but I just need one share of that. And like I said, when I get that one share of that, that 25 will open up. So here's the point I'm making to you guys. Um, this is just 15 times 4. 15 times 4. That's the IRA right there, 60 bucks every other week. Now... These are the things that happen on May 6th. They're bi-weekly. You see all these, they're all bi-weekly. The third, what happens on the 13th is my main giant purchases. So every other week, giant purchases. 
and then the other weeks. So we'll just say week one and week two. Week one is the IRA mixed with diversified portfolio buys. Um, IRAs and mostly like ETF related stuff. And then the second week, we'll just stick on these big $95, $90 purchases. You know, you do the math on that. 90 plus 95 is 185. 185 plus 15 is 200. So like I said, 200 a week. Now let's stick to week one for now. Do the math, right? That's what we were doing earlier with this calculator. 15 times 4. There's four purchases on that day for 15 each. That's, you know, that's why I threw that 60 on the calculator right there. Boom. Now May 6th, what else is going on? We have a $30 purchase plus $30 from CVS. And we'll do plus again. This is for people that are slower at math. Like this isn't a knock to anyone that's slower at math. This is just to show you what's going on. This is also an update on the portfolio. Um, Google, we're doing a 25 on there plus $25 from Google. Um, plus $50 from NVIDIA. For NVIDIA, I should say, plus $50 for NVIDIA. Now, what are we left with? The rest will be $35 into waste management, plus 35 and there goes your 200 Now, to prove the point of this, let's show you these bottom three. Concentrate on these numbers right here. 90 plus 15 plus 95. Let's do it in that order. 90 plus 15 equals, all right, plus 95, 200 Now, that's what I'm saying. I'm doing this. That's for the 13th. And then what's on the 6th was proven to be 200. So it's 200 a week. This is just my strategy. And like I said, when Google finally gets to one, when I finally get to one share of Google, I'm not even going to trip on it anymore. I'm probably going to do like small little buys here and there based off of profits when I start shaving off the top. You know what I'm saying? And especially when Chipotle starts, when Chipotle has that stock split and then um, that's all I'm waiting on. And then NVIDIA is supposedly, some people are projecting that it'll have a stock split in june and for that reason i wanna personally like turn this 25 into i'm gonna dump that 25 that i would normally put into google into nvidia so then it'll turn to 75 for nvidia every other week now since june is like right around the corner i have to ask myself see how close we are 852 what is the let's find the median price real fast where are we at it doesn't really say. Wait, where's the... F I'm looking for the... Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm tripping. I didn't know why I didn't see it. 52-week low is 270. Yeah, it shot up so much. So let's just say 974. Let's just go after 52-week high. So 974 divided by... So like I said, 50 plus 25 divided by 75. 12.90... Oh, uh, sorry. 12.98. So... 12 shares. Am I doing this right? Let me think about this. So it's how many times 75 goes into 974. Okay, that makes sense. So 75. Actually, let's think about this because it's the end of April. So by June, so let's say three weeks. So 75 times. Three weeks because it's it's bi-weekly so it'd have been three weeks that's 225 so now that we have 225 pay attention you see i see that right here right in the middle i'm going to put it right in the middle for you 52 week high 974 so 974 um minus 225 um so 749 so let's see where we're at We own about 614. So if we added 225 in the next three months, we'd actually have to put dump a little more in there. So let me think about what I would be able to sell because I do want to just own one share. The projection is that NVIDIA might have a stock split this year because it shot up so high. Um, but we'll see. Let me think about this because we are down 27 bucks. Throwing money here and there slowly. There's going to be a $50 buy, so that'll help me get closer to where I need to go, but um, I might consider, see these little dollar ones that I'm holding, it's more like long-term stuff, because it's not much profitability here, but I'm considering shaving off the top of Altria, um, even, well, Chipotle, I need that one share, but we'll see, because I actually am getting a lot of overtime money, so 
pay off a little bit of debt and then I might just jump in there. Might ape into it a bit. You know, it's a bit of FOMO, but eh. You know, I'm gonna stick with it. So yeah, that's what it's looking like, man. That's the update for uh right now. I feel like I did one of these in a minute, so we'll leave it at that. I'm going to obviously the IRA I won't touch. This brokerage thing. I'm actually really happy because, you know, from May last year I told myself that I need to get to ten thousand and here I am at uh thirteen. Which is great. You know, certain things are up. Can't wait for the stock split, everything just to go up right after the split. Even if it's a little volatile, I'm going to just be patient, you know, from from one year to 50. That's, <laughs> you know, I'm happy. So, hey, man, that's just where I'm at, all right? Hope you guys have a good one. I'm going to try to, I'm not sure when this video is going to drop. I need to move some videos around that I have kind of set up right now because I'm doing my Dragon Quest stuff on top of, like, uh, I want I want to be able to film some Beyblade things, but my mount broke. So I'm sticking to things that I can screen record right now. So it's a lot of gameplay. But I am getting a new capture card soon. No, I'm sorry. I'm getting a new laptop. And then I'm going to order a capture card. Because I'm going to try to do this Pokemon run. And when I do that run, I'm going to use like a crazy team. But you guys will see that later. You know, for now, this is just the investing and in entertainment side of stuff. You know, um, by no means is this any financial advice. I'm not an advisor. Um, it's just investing and in entertainment. It's just what I do. And um, hopefully I'm entertaining you guys with my commentary as well as like just showing you what I'm doing with my own personal life. I mean, I'm trying to just show you guys some things maybe you can learn from it. But if not, it's really just for entertainment, you know. This is just what I do. So yeah, I show. Peace.